Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. No thing. Longing is the music of our sphere. The gift of life is never more or less. It starts at any time you like and ends in just a wink. Moe fata alo fa tu li pa iya mali ma malu wa mfayu nta to fata si li nei afi afi Ya o ta to por kalami ma sani lava li nei O le tala noa sao ma o li nei afi afi O se por kalami fa pitoa lava o e ma sani lava nta to feilua i po po afi afi as forele A o le afi afi li nei o no o se por kalami fa pitoa lava i na i o ta to uso ma i le atinu o toke lau o to e lau ya Fatalo fatuai i oto pa ia moto mamalu. Yeah. Right now, I'd just like to say hello to everyone who's here, and I'd like to bring on my co-host Elliot Ikile. Hey, hey! Fatalo fatuai to to everyone. Fatalo fatu ber. How are ya? Yes. Hey, Elliot. We usually say our our cultural hello salutations, but tonight we need to we need to say something in Tokelauan. So. Oi, there we go. So Maloni. Maloni. I think. Yes. Hey, hey, there we go. Thank you. Okay, very good. Hey, look, absolutely wonderful to be here. Really important things are going on. It's blowing up the spot, and I know I want to get straight into it. So please, will you help me in joining to welcome? Uh, this is going to be the pastors of Kingdom Advances International Church. It is in Australia. But will you join me in welcoming Danny and Sarah? Danny, Sarah, hey. how are you? Hey. Maloni. 
Malo me. Malo me. All right. Awesome. Did we get that right? Awesome. Hey, hey, sick. All right. Wonderful. So, uh, uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for joining in. As you know, with Talon or Sao, what we like to do always is to do things in the traditional way. And so, uh, Daddy Sarah, we would love it if you maybe let us in a, a quick bit of prayer to open us up appropriately. Man, hallelujah. Father, we just want to come before you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we even enter into the presence of God, we want to invite your presence to come and touch every heart every mind that is listening for the glory of your name we want to uh, pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven we thank you for the truth of your word even as we speak straight that god that you're going to be able to bring forth blessings upon blessings for each family represented i pray now in the name of jesus amen hmm. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Amen. Beautiful. All right. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. Right. So, really important things are, are happening. The international scenes going on. Russia's just invaded the Ukraine. Uh, the Trudeau, you've got uh, Western Australia, you've got Ardern. Things are incredibly problematic currently in terms of our democracy of actions and we've heard that there are some deep problems going on in Tokalao at the moment yeah. uh, now now I want to I want to bring you up there because we want to give you the platform to speak about it we know that you've got some close connections would you please tell us what's going on and and then we'll uh, we might ask a few questions and just for our audience if you want to uh, if we can, we want to bring in any of your comments and your questions. If you want to ask Danny and Sarah as they speak on what they know about, so we'll we'll let them speak and then we might j jump in there. So, uh, Danny, Sarah, the floor is yours. Uh, uh, go for it. What is it that that you need to tell us that we need to know? Look, uh, thank you so much for allowing us to come and uh, speak on behalf of those that uh, are being silenced by a group of people that don't want people to know what's happening in Tokelau, but uh, I'm going to actually ask my wife to. <laughs> she speaks better than I do. Hallelujah. Oh, basically, um, we've got um, families um, in Tokelau that are under house arrest. Um, the ones in Atahu have been on house arrest since the 26th of July, so it's coming up seven months, um, just basically because they made a, they made a choice or what they didn't want to put into their bodies when the um, New Zealand government sent over the Pfizer to Tokelau back around, um, I think the 20th of something of, of July, I think it was roughly, it was around that date in July. Um, and yeah, so they've been on, on house arrest um, and there's been a whole lot of things surrounding that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so look, can about, I jump in there? Um, do, yep. do you mind if I jump in there? So I, I, I do have a bit of a, I do apologise, I have a bit of a habit of jumping in there if, if there's a, there's some yeah, real big parts there, alright? So house arrest, now, is that lawful? I don't know the rules. Is it lawful to put people under house arrest and are they, is it that they have been forced to stay in their home because they refuse to just take the jab? Are they sick? Is this what's going on? Why are they under house arrest? COVID is not even in Tokelau. No cases of COVID whatsoever, mm. but it's like they've been placed in under house arrest because they refuse to take the vaccination. Mm. It's basically, uh, well, you ask the question, is it lawful? Well, I think everybody knows it's not lawful, but it's happening. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I think it's just the fear. And I think basically, um, I mean, house arrest, yes, they're in their houses, but they're allowed out to wash the dishes because a lot of their, they got to do activities around the house, but they lost their work, their, their jobs. And initially when the when the Pfizer first came over, um, we, we got a call from them back in July because they were told that if they didn't take it, they'd be banished from Tokelau. We knew that was a bit absurd that they couldn't actually, and I'd actually emailed Ross Ardoon, who's the administrator of Tokelau, and even he said himself that, he told them that they couldn't kick people off took it off they're New Zealand citizens so it's yeah so I don't think it's I don't think it's 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 lawful but I think it's just the fear 
um, of, but you said to get to Tokelau, you've got to fly to Samoa first where you catch the boat for 20 odd hours. In our case, when we went, it was 26 hours. You then get off the boat and you jump onto a barge and then the barge takes you across to the island. Um, there's no real tourism as such there. Obviously, there's no um, airfield or anything like that. So I guess my opinion is that if they really wanted to screen for COVID, if there's such a fear of it, they could actually do that in Samoa. I think there's a bigger picture to this, which is going around the world at the moment in regards to control. I think uh, governments that uh, have control would want to force people to do as they say. They wanted everybody to take it, but these guys felt, no, oh, no, nah, nah, it's not right that we put this untested vaccine into their bodies. And when they had a pray about it, the Lord confirmed for them that it's not to do that. Mm. But so they be they were ostracized and uh, and uh, it, you know became the the talk of the town and people were mocking them because they chose not to. But when it came to time to vaccine the kids, there were families even wanting to speak out, but they just can't uh, make a stand because mm. of fear. Right, right, and, and that's a just the grain, if you like, because you know, in this little island of Tokelau, uh, the, the islands of Tokelau, everybody would just follow the leader, if you like, the government leaders, the the, the Hai Pule or the or the Pule Nuku, and it's like uh, that's an equivalent of, like, say, the Prime Minister of uh, Australia or mm. New Zealand. Right. Uh, Daddy, obviously you are very much uh, aligned into the communities of uh, Tokelau. Now, uh, we've had a question from Stu Cameron. He's asking, how many people are under arrest and what do the people of Tokelau want? And of course, I guess there's a difference between the official what do they want and what yeah. you know of what they want. Okay. Well, I think to, to make a choice, what goes into your body should be our God-given right. That's, that's the first point I want to make and uh, there's only six people left that saying no we we don't want to this is on Atahu which is one of the little atolls there's another atoll uh, called Nukunanu that's where I was born uh, and my cousin and her and, and uh, her husband have, uh, have said no and they don't want their kids to get it and the, the Fijian couple that went as school teachers, uh, they had, well, the, the husband took it because they were going to uh, deport. deport them back to Fiji because uh, they didn't want people, obviously, not to have it. But uh, he took it under coercion. And uh, right. so it's like, it, it's <laughs> they're all under house arrest on Nukunanu and Atahu. And but on Nukunano, my uh, we, we were wondering why my cousin and uh had not been contacting us, or we can't get through to them. But we later found out that they've, they've uh confiscated all their uh phones and iPads wow. so they can't wow. have any yeah. outside mm. communication. Mm. Yeah, I think that uh, if if I may, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, are you guys able to hear me? Okay, yeah. so uh, I think one of the reasons why we want to tell this story tonight is because this is a very small island group that we're talking about, To'elau. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't get a lot of media attention because of the mm -hmm. fact that they're so sure. small. And this is uh, one of the concerns that we have is that because they are so isolated that it's very easy for uh, for abuses to take place, abuses that no one will be able to, to, to know about unless we actually talk about it. And that's why we're, yeah. what we're trying to do right now is uh, we're trying to give this platform to uh, our dear brother and sister who are who are both also pastors in uh, in Australia. And so uh, this is why it's so important, this story that we're telling tonight. Hmm. Yeah, yeah thank wonderful. you so much. That's that's it's so true that uh, uh, the Tokelauans, even in Wellington, that have heard about the the, the flag that's been uh, raised to, to bring awareness for Tokelau in, in, in Parliament at that protest, uh, they be they're looking for ways 
to try and get it down because they don't want attention being brought to <laughs> what's happening in Tokelau. Wow. Sorry, can you? Sorry, Danny, you, are you saying that the the freedom protests that are going on in Wellington, there are some Tokelau flags, and some of the authorities are trying to bring down those flags and stop them from being presented at, at, in Wellington. Um. So what happened was I posted something on the convoy page and a young uh, a, a young man in, um, down the South Island, he's not Tukaloan, but he'd felt compelled to get a Tukaloan flag and he brought it to the freedom protest and had it erected oh. up. So mm. we got someone contacted us just to give us the heads up that apparently some of the elders in the Wellington re region, the Tukaloan elders, had a meeting to discuss how they could get that flag taken down. So it's not the New Zealand authorities now but it's the um elders um took on elders that are a bit offended that it's that's been put up there because they didn't want qu uh, questions to be asked regarding what's been happening yeah. in, in Tokelau. that's incredible that's yeah. that's yes. incredible yeah that's messing ar around with sovereignty yeah mm. but we're so thankful for these ones speaking now they're speaking up that uh this behavior that's happening in Tokelau to put these guys under house arrest for seven months coming the 26th which is tomorrow mm. and it's like uh how, how can you do that because that's you know that's it's crazy so that's that's seven so seven months they've been on lo uh, uh, house arrest not lockdown house, house arrest. arrest house arrest uh, are, they, are they i mean are they afraid is there fear i mean that's seven months that the authorities are telling them you can't leave your home yeah, right I, I think what happened was at first um because obviously um one was a police officer that um um yeah. the, the couple that are over there as our as um as a, some of our system our missions pastors in the church um she was a police officer and so they obviously go on house arrest they lost their jobs they were selling stuff from home they thought oh they'll you know that will then they'll start selling stuff from home and they're getting really blessed and then I think it was November. Yeah. They were prompt when the when one of the rollouts happened again. I think it was um, for the young people, for the um, 12 to 16 year olds. When that happened, they were, so they were approached and given another opportunity. Well, this is your opportunity to have to, to have the Pfizer. If um, you don't take this opportunity. Um, you're going to be on house arrest, this is what they were told, you're going to be on house arrest indefinitely and um, and also too there's no more doing any business from home. So that was cut off as well. I, I think because they're quite strong Christians, uh, yeah. um, a lot of them, um, it, 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 they, they, they've just been blessed in other ways, like people sending them money and, and stuff like that, but still it is it is hard because I mean it's not like house arrest because there's no jails in Tokelau. No jails in Tokelau. So it's not mm. like they've got a policeman outside their door. But the thing with the house arrest because it's such small, it's small. You can walk around the island in a couple of hours. You know that's how small it is. I mean you look on one side, you see the lagoon. You look on the other side, you see the ocean. And so they're not even allowed to go swimming, and it's been hot wow. and. Um, and I guess so what happens is if they leave, someone sees and someone will report it to the to the um, police. Yeah. Yeah. It's extraordinary. Uh, look, yeah. and I, I just wanted to know in terms of where Ross Ardern fits into this. Now, we've actually had a question here uh, because Ross Ardern, of course, was the one of the original Dawn Raiders. Uh, when yeah, the yeah. you know when yeah. the door raids came on, it was Ross Ardern who was right there amongst them, <clears> going hard. Now Shania Welsh has asked, "Is Jacinda's father involved of in the arrests? Has he?" Now you said that at first he said, "Wait, wait, wait! No, you can't. You shouldn't do that because it should be a free will type of choice." I'm paraphrasing. Has there been any other involvement, or has he actually stepped up to try to defend or try to stop this horrific, unconstitutional act? Actually, the uh, he told us, no, 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 they can't do that. But he told them, don't listen to uh, anyone else, especially Danny and Sarah. Just listen, get your information from the government over that's, there. That's your source of truth. And, and I guess because he sort of said to us, oh, I'll, I'll talk to them. He, he basically said no, no, no to being banished. But he says, you know, he can't control what they do past that when it comes to their jobs and that. So even, I think even a couple of them even had his personal email and, you know, he was sort of 
sort of um, they sent me uh, well yeah I, I saw I saw some of the feedback from the messages he sent them but after they had refused the Topolinga, which is like the the out you know like the um, leaders on each mm. island it's like a council of leaders um, they brought them these ones that weren't complying before the council and they were sort of given a dress down and um, sort of told how disappointed they were because they wanted to be the first island to get 100% vaccinated. So there's a little bit of pride. It feels like a little bit of pride there as well. But um, they've had Ross Ardern must, maybe on a video call or a Zoom, it seems. And that's when he said to them, you know, stop listening to silly people on the internet and just um, listen to the government. And then we were doing some lives, eh? We were doing mm. some lives just talking about the situation. And so one of one of the media people in Tokelau reported us to Facebook and we had our um, we, we had that video taken down and what have you were reported and stuff but it was interested, interesting because someone sent me a screenshot of where this person had put up a post that says oh look and we're so relieved that we got this taken down and one of the ones that liked it was Ross Ardern so he seems very wow. much in the background and kind of um involved but he's trying to look like he's on the back foot and doesn't have much. Ah, but I mean the, the similarity the, between him and his daughter yeah <laughs> and, and one thing that really um is he oh, i forgot where i was going there yeah he, he's just i he's i've just he's been like apparently some of our posts in that that we put up regarding it seems to get tagged on his page so somebody is doing that so he's obviously looking in and watching but he's um yeah Trying to look like he's the good cop and that they're the bad cop. So, yeah, it's kind mm. of... I hope he gets to see this because we're on to him. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I just make an observation? I don't know if you guys... Uh, the, the observation that I want to make is that this is exactly why... This is exactly why um, it's so important for us to bring this story because we are being fooled by these people because they're trying to tell us that this uh this virus can just appear out of thin air and then all of a sudden start to go out to all the different people because if you think about it you know you the virus is uh, is given because there's a carrier there's got to be someone who has the virus and then they they give it to someone else but this island is so isolated yeah. That there are no people. There's no way a person is going to be over there. So yeah. why are they even bothering with getting mm -hmm. the vaccine? It's you know, these people, these people are, 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 are completely, you know, um, they're, they're, they're germ free or, or virus free. So there's no need. And so as you were talking about how um, Jacinda Ardern is like her father, do you recall that there was only one case of uh, what you call COVID here in New Zealand? And Jacinda shut down the entire country because yeah. of one case, you know. Mm. So this this actually must run in the family or something because you yeah. got zero cases over there, and this man is is, is putting people in house uh, under house arrest. So, yeah, that was just mm. an observation I wanted to make. I I would like to ask a question actually about the elders so my i don't understand the tokelau way of doing things but usually in terms of our islands the usually there's at least a unofficial hierarchy if it's not official of eldership the right. elders who are in wellington and they're trying to shut down suppress the raising of the tokelau flag which i think is wonderful patriotic and it definitely if the young man from the south island is doing it to help represent the people there hey good on him i say yeah, but yeah. why do you think that the the elders are actually just towing the line doing what they're told and, and just absolutely aligning themselves with the government and even perhaps mr ardern okay i have a theory okay <laughs> which is which is quite clear to me that this control system that's trying to uh, overrun the whole world even wants to get into the villages into the small groups where this control can be run where, where they when the government say something everybody lines up to it and follows through now and and that's sort of what's happened because when, when new zealand say something uh new zealand just say yes sir yes yes we'll do that we'll do it thank you so much for those 
uh, Pfizer's thank you that you've given it for free without actually looking into what it is that they're giving. They think it's a blessing to get That's this right. uh, because there's no um, COVID in, in, in Tokelau. But it's like it's not a blessing to get those Pfizer's. They haven't done their homework to research the, the outcomes from and there hasn't been enough time to test it enough for people just to follow through willy-nilly, if you know what I mean. Um, mm. They should, everybody should do their homework and what they're putting into their body. Uh, you know, there's some there's some bits and pieces in there that we're not happy with uh, straight away when we when we talk about aborted fetuses being used as part That's and right. parcel of the, this vaccine and that and the government just want you to take it as if it's okay it's not okay yes. so i don't mm. want to come out too strong but I, you know it's like uh sometimes you just can't help but tell the truth mm. because i believe the truth will set us free amen i, I get yeah mm. yeah i i guess you know when when it all first came out we had an interview i think with billy tk and when it all first came out there and um I think they had like um, the Tukaloan government media people watching his his um, trying to get, dig up dirt on him, you know. Like, I mean, I think most people have some dirt, but anyway. But um, it kind of went a little bit viral, and um, we came under quite a lot of attack to the point that even the Ulu, who's like the like I, I guess the equivalent to the prime minister mm. of Tukalau, actually addressed the island and told them that don't listen to Danny and Sarah; they're false prophets. You know, they brainwashed these people, and it was actually, it was actually, there was a big statement that got put on to the, um, to the um, Tukaloan Facebook official Facebook page, uh, government Facebook page. So it, it kind of, you know, like, but I think my son said it well. Said to me, probably not long after it happened, he goes, "You know what, <coughs> Mum?" With uh, he goes, in terms of, she's been really clever. Jacinda Arden's been very clever when it comes to dealing with the minority groups, the different cultural yes, groups, especially in New Zealand. Right. She's come and she's she's gone to them and she's been all nice and given them something and then basically got them feeding out of her hand so that mm. when she says jump later on, they're like, well, how high? You know, it's been mm. just manipulation. That's that's my personal opinion or what he, I thought was a lot of in, a good insight for a 24-year-old to sort of come yeah. up and he was even talking about the whole situation when she did the apology for the dawn raids and that and my son right. 24 was going to work talking to a, a Samoan brother at work and, and he's, he's an elder guy who's going oh isn't she wonderful and so Thomas says no she's not if anyone that should have been her father doing that mm. why why is she doing mm. that and it's just to it's just to sort of you know grease up to uh, up to the Pacific Island community but really it's 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 just theater you know it's just for mm. show so, um, yeah, and, and I think it's just been a whole lot of manipulation, you know, the smiles and all that sort of thing. But again, that's just my opinion. So um, the Tukalon people in general seem to really love her. Um, they've made, the families made trips to Tukalon. They've done all the right things, you know, um, according to them. And so um, the other thing too is the way that it was framed was that well, when we, we watched, I think the, one of the health, one of the officials in Tokelau said a speech just on the day that it was coming over and saying, oh, look, you know, New Zealand, we've just got this free gift from New Zealand. So it's almost like, wow, you know, we've been given this free gift, so it would actually be rude not to actually um, receive this gift. So there's a lot of a lot of things happening there, if you know what I mean. Right. Mm. Yeah. Definitely seems like there's a, a usage of the cultural background that we've come from where you don't speak yeah. against those who are your hierarchical yep. whether they're elders yeah. or whether they're authority figures and i think they've used that i mean and i i know that in new zealand they've used it for so long the amount of times that i have to tell people the samoans and tongans that hey by the way you know that it was labor who started the dawn raids not national and, yeah. and they're shocked you know that first is denial and then there's shock and then it then there's a then they're mm. awkward very awkward uh, and I, I do find it to be quite a fascinating uh, aspect. In mm. terms of the uh, Tokolo, uh, how are you guys feeling about that, right? So you, you told us about your experiences and, and what you've heard 
going on from there as well as the fact that and i'm seeing in some of the comments that there were reports and there were videos being shown of it before the footage was being cut and their devices were actually being taken away from them which i think is extraordinary um what are your feelings about the community at this time in tokalao you're me oh, i i just want to say you know we really love the tokalao people we know it's just people just blind, you know. Um, we've really been, I know that for Pastor Julie and Ty, they've really been praying. I mean, today they messaged me and said how they had they had cooked a big feed for the Topilinga, you know, because for some of the Topilinga. And, um, and I just think that's beautiful. They've really kept a good heart. I mean, really, I think people have been throwing things, oh, you just hate Tukalau, you just hate the people. That's the accusation, you know, that we've had a lot of, and, and funnily enough, it's really just been government officials in Tokelau sending us, trolling our Facebook, sending us memes with, you know, obscene swear words and stuff on it. Like, people, you, you'd really expect people to be a lot more professional. But then when I saw what happened at the protest with Trevor Mallard, well, then I thought, well, that flows down from the top. But, you know, but on top of that, at the end of the day, they're just people. Mm. And I just feel like they're being manipulated. Yes. And, um, you know, that's our families too. You know, Danny, your mum's from yeah. Nukunonu, your dad's from Hakoho, yeah. who have all been 100% vaxxed in Nuk- uh, Hakoho. And he's got two, both his grandmothers yeah. are from Atahu. Yeah. So, you know, you, I, I married my husband, I, I married my husband, you know, knowing that he's took a loan and, you know, a lot of a lot of the attacks been, oh, look at you, you balangi, trying to, you know, trying to... Hmm. Trying to be so like, now that they're, they're also being racist into Tokelau, and I'm like, Well, I'm married to my husband, that mm. makes me part of Tokelau now, you know, mm. that's like how I not. feel. Mm. Wearing my bahina very proudly, you know, because that's you know, so I love the people of Tokelau, and yeah. I'm disappointed, really disappointed. And yes, I'm angry sometimes at what they what that what they are doing to the people, but um, <clears throat> but. There are some people on the island that genuinely uh, feel for these guys and yep. help them when they can yeah. in terms of food and stuff like that. Yeah. Sorry, honey. No, no, you're good. You're good. You know, uh, yeah, for the people, we, we man, we love the people. But uh, it's funny how when uh, people get a hold of our posts and they want to twist things that we say. <laughs> Uh, mm. For an example, we said, you know, how Tokelau was being used as guinea pigs by New Zealand, uh, the government. Mm. And uh, and someone took a hold of that from Tokelau and turned around and says, oh, we call the Tokelauans pigs. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, right, mate, get it straight. We're saying the guinea pig. And in regards to being tested, being the ones to be tested right. on, in regards right. to mm. having to take those vaccinations without it being tested. You're the test. When you take that, it's on you now, and then we're going to see how you feel afterwards. Mm, yeah. yeah. We did no, well say said. to them, we said to them, mm. look, you go, look at what, what, what they're doing here. They're going to implement that in New Zealand and Australia with the Indigenous communities and, and minority groups, you know? So, yeah. Mm. Sorry, you yes. guys were going to say something. No, Sarah, you... I. Oh. Sorry, you go for the other. Okay. Uh, do you, are you guys able to hear me by <laughs> A little bit, I, sort of. Okay. All right. So uh, the, the question that I have has to do with, with um, you know, here in New Zealand, we've, we've heard a lot of people who have, who have uh, gotten injured from the vaccine. So I'm just wondering if there, uh, if there are any reports that you guys have received of people who have taken the vaccine and uh, are reporting to be injured or sick or anything of that nature. Yeah, um, I have heard, but they're not putting it down to that. So there were a few people that ended up getting um, taken to Samoa um, to go to the hospital there for um, treatment for cardiac reasons. I think maybe mm. it might have yeah one one of the one of the one of the um, ones in the government. Um, and yes, yeah, so I am hearing stuffs happening, but they're just kind of oh no, it's not that it's not that it's so, something else, yeah. They're but, saying it's something else. Yeah, mm, but yeah, I, I yeah. haven't. I haven't. I know that there's been a lot more funerals, but again, it's not being put down to anything to do with vax related. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're having similar issues uh, here as well. Uh, Sarah, I just noticed. 
I get the feeling that that the racism, the absolute uh, uh, deception about your love for Takalau has taken a bit of a hit. That mm. that it has uh, uh, maybe hurt a bit more than that it really should have. Uh, mm. Look, you know, we have the same here. We've got race hustlers who try to basically shut down and basically they say, "Shut up! Oh, you're white. Oh, you shut up." You know, and, and so look, you know, you kia kaha, and and I just want yeah. to let you know, people in the comments have been saying kia kaha to you because they know they damn well that that you're there for the right reasons. That you look, that you love that weird haired fella over beside you, yeah. and uh, you know, so I, I think it's absolutely, I think it's absolutely uh, awesome what you guys are doing. Uh, look, we're coming. We we wanted to not take up too much of your time. We know you guys are real busy. Do you have anything, uh, any last real strong message for us here who are in New Zealand uh, who don't know what's going on, but and also some of us who are, whether we're afraid or anything, what's your message to the people out there? Uh, El- Elliot, can I just ask something real quick before we Go get for to it. the... Okay. Uh, before we get to you guys giving us the message, I'm, I'm really curious about uh, if you guys can give us an update as to what's going on in Australia right now. Just so mm. I, uh, you know, I, I saw a clip of you speaking over at Capitol Hill in front of Parliament, uh, the parliamentary building. So I know that you got to know something. So uh, if you could just share with our audience tonight uh, what exactly is taking place in Australia at this point? Um, what's happening in Australia? What's happening in Australia? Because you saw us speaking on Capitol Hill at the um, Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> we you saw you. Properly, I just, you know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, look, uh, when we went down to the protest down in Canberra, we just wanted to make it very clear that we are supporting pro-choice. And we want people to actually choose for themselves what they allow into their body. Uh, There was a lot of... uh, When we actually got down there, there was different people there for different reasons. But we went down for this particular reason to make uh, make our voice be heard that we are not... Uh, we are not for the government when they say uh, to mandate the injection on anybody. And, uh, you know, we, we believe God gives us free choice. And that even comes to, that that's even for when we uh, even choose salvation, whether we want salvation or not, God lets us choose. Yes. And I don't want uh, that choice to be taken away from anybody. So I, I felt mm. it was right for us to just go down and listen. We, 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 we shook that. Um, and we also brought awareness. My wife spoke nicely about uh, what was happening in Tokelau. And, yes. uh, and yeah, that, that caused uh, a bit of awareness down there. And uh, we're, we're thankful because uh, these things, it's, it's a bit like, uh, you know, because we believe that the devil is real. It's a bit like yeah. when the devil does something, he wants to do it in the darkness. Keep mm. it hidden so that yes. no one will talk about it so that the mm. devil can keep pursuing his plans and purposes but it's yeah. like when we bring things into the light and bring the truth out truth actually sets people free That's and right. uh, i love what you That's fellas right. are doing with with your platform here and bringing the truth and allowing people to shine the light on different uh yeah. circumstances and yeah. uh i tell you what the government i talk a lot of people will try and gaslight this, this, uh, what's happening to the people because they're, they're not related to them. But if you talk mm. to the, the parents of, of, of uh, Pastor Tai or Pastor Julie or, or even um, Say, or if you talk to these guys' parents that you know, I, I can't really say Say because, um, yeah, her, her dad's in the top yep. level. <laughs> but, but it's like he wants to make a stand, but there's a whole group of them actually and you got to go with the majority and so you know some of these guys are just having to flow with what goes but uh, I, I just really want to say don't believe the gaslighting that that they're trying to make out that this is not happening in Tokelau it's, it's, uh, we, we have undeniable proof and uh, we're telling the truth but back mm. to Australia I'm a registered nurse so obviously yes. when the mandates came out I can no longer work as a registered nurse but I was yes. I was blessed and had some pastor friends of ours that gave me a job looking after their some with autism mm. who are completely on the same page mm. um, but what's happening different states are different 
So in Queensland at the moment, um, the unvaccinated are locked out of cafes and stuff. Um, oh. But you know, you just got to try in this cafe. There are cafes that will let you just go and eat there regardless, you know. Right, right. <laughs> I usually yeah. say to him, hey, you go sit down, see if they'll let us eat there, then whistle out to me and I'll come and join you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really the confrontational one. Right, <laughs> he doesn't right. mind it, you know. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening. Look, we weren't even going to go to. Um, we weren't going to go down to Canberra. We would. I just said to the Lord God, if you want us down there, um, yeah. then you've got to make it happen. And then mm. we didn't go for the very big one that had quite a lot of people the week before. But we got offered to come down with a friend of ours down there. And I thought, you know what? I've got to make it. I've, I've got to make it clear. I've got to let as many people know as we can what's actually happening. Because, you mm. know, it's the Anzac thing too. Australia's, you know, yep. connected to yeah. New Zealand. And, you know, what happens What happens is the outcome of these protests and whatever other uh, rallies and things that are going on is also going to affect, you know, for the better, hopefully, those in Tokelau. So yeah. I did share and... You know, I, we, we've had interviews with um, Australians over here that have been really praying for them over there. But also, too, we had someone contact us that wants to get a Christian senator on the case of the New Zealand government. Oh, mm. So, awesome. wow. saying, man, if the, no one's going to listen in, in New Zealand, then it's going to be embarrassing for them if Australia politicians have to actually go and raise the concern, you know? Yeah. And... Um, so we're just we're just waiting for that but um but you know i was really pleased with the outcome of when we were able to post in the convoy pages what was happening because it re i think it really has um b b built up people's awareness we're not doing it because we hate the top or we hate the people we actually really love them and we know we we know that all under pressure in some form yeah. and so um but what's been amazing is one that young that young man called Floyd that went and did that because he was so he was so compelled to get the flag and erect it up in Parliament. But people yeah. have been sending us photos of uh, even people that aren't Tukaloan that have been watching New Zealand protests and they just screenshot like they see a Tukaloan flag. So people are taking uh, are going in there and these aren't all Tukaloans that are doing this. So the word's getting out right. there. And so mm. you know, hey. I guess for um, in terms of for Tokelau, my words would be, you know, it's because we love Tokelau. You know, don't don't get caught up in an agenda that's um, on the wrong side. You know what mm. I mean? But do what's right for the people. You know, do what's mm. right. You know, these are your families. Mm. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure that Say's dad is in the Tokelau. I think he lives in Australia, but. Mm. But I think it's her uncle. So just, just to clear that. Someone hey, 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 hey. Little chess there going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> My no, wife does no, the no. same to me. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> she would just laugh. But, you know, but it's, it's yeah. So it's just like these, some of these people, they're their flesh and blood. They're their own family members that they're doing mm. this to. We know that there are people within the Topilinga that don't like what's happening and have tried to stand up for these guys, but because they end up being the minority, um, they too are feeling frustrated. So, yeah. um, and we know too that it's driven by fear. So, you know, mm. don't be driven by fear. And because they have limited access to, you know, to be able, they only get, they only get given the research and that, 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 that goes along with the narrative. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. So they don't, they, they, they don't they don't see the full picture they don't always go and research everything out in fact anything that goes beyond that narrative mm. it's they consider it tin foil hat wearing conspiracy theorists mm. you know That's but right. i think yeah. i'm pretty normal i don't think i've ever worn a tin foil hat in my life and i don't even think a tin foil hat would fit over his dreadlocks so <laughs> i used to get into stuff with tin foil <laughs> yeah there we go yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah there we go hey. <laughs> let's not go there Hey, hey, hey! Uh, just to let you know, uh, we've also had a. Uh, we've also had, look. I'm just. When you get time, I think come back when this goes up, 
and have a look at the comments. There's such an amount of, of, of comments, just absolutely totoku, uh, your words and your guys' Thank ministry. You so uh, Raymond has brought up, uh, he's actually brought up a couple of really cool things. First, he said, how can we follow Danny and Sarah? Now, that's been repeated. So I'm, he's the one who I've stuck up. He said, how can we follow Danny and Sarah? So people are asking if you've got a Facebook page. Uh, I believe Pepe Pepe has actually asked, how do we support? How do we uh, help this this uh, co-papa, this ministry? Uh, so, yeah. It, how do they how do they follow you guys and get updates on this and how can they support the cause so to speak yeah look what, what the problem we've been having is some tokolowans are adding us on as as friends for facebook but then they're trolling us <laughs> uh, just just send us a private message and say that you want to add us as a friend on facebook it's danny and sarah palacio um and when we get that message just say hey look i saw you guys and, and just explain and look i really want to be friends and also we can then connect and we can um show you uh, we we can we, we can um talk further about how you can support i mean we're not we're not asking for money or anything like that but um i know we just sent some money over to ty and julie but it's a very it's a hard process too because it goes it goes yeah. to the Tukalon because they've got no ATMs or banks over there, so it goes through to a New Zealand account. But as long as they send them a screenshot of the name who's it for, they actually have to give them the money. And we tried that out ourselves. We sent them we sent them some funds over, and um, they got it. So let's let, let you know that's amazing. That's awesome that mm. there is some integrity there that they are passing on things like that to um, when they get sent things like financially from people. So that's a good thing. They're yep. not freezing awesome. anything. Awesome. I'm just kidding. And I, I, I... I also think that uh, as you guys do, and I know Fui Hava has been discussing things with you guys, uh, we're here, we're more than happy to put up updates as you want so that we can yes. also make sure that your words are getting out there uh, and, and that we can keep abreast as to what's going on because these are, this is actually going deeper. As you said, Danny, uh, before you said that there is a deeper impact, there really is. We're talking democracy, freedom, sovereignty. We're talking about government overreach, authoritarianism. We're talking about all of the things that, that are supposed to stay in the corners of George Orwell and, and the dystopian novels that are supposed to be out there. I think we're seeing that coming out now. Awesome. Yep. So, uh, look, thank you so much. We really do appreciate you uh, coming on and speaking with us. Uh, we want to be so kept much. abreast. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the last word to you. Uh, now, Danny, you started us off with a bit of prayer. Uh, Sarah, would you be able to, you know, close us off be with a bit of prayer? Before prays, can I just add a little something? Go for it. I uh, <clears throat> I spoke recently about, about uh, Mordecai speaking to his niece, uh, Esther, to go before the king and bring a petition yeah. in order to save mm. the children of Israel, right? Right. And right. I, I shared about, I shared about. Look, uh, I, I I brought out the point that Mordecai made to Esther, Queen Esther, at the time. He said, "If you do not arise at this time and speak for Israel, God will raise up someone else, mm. and they will speak, but you will be blotted out." And it's like, you know, we've got to stand for righteousness. We've got to stand Amen. for the things that are right. And Amen. if we don't, then God will raise up someone else to speak mm. the truth and bring the light into every situation. I just Amen. want to say thank you so much for allowing us to use your platform to bring forth some light and truth into this uh, scenario that's happened in Dokalau. We yes. really believe that God will be glorified in all this somehow because Amen. he works all things for good Amen. for those who love him those who are called according to his purposes god bless you yeah. sarah's gonna pray yeah hallelujah father god we just want to thank you lord i want to thank you for this thank amazing you, platform and our brothers here and also thank for you, all those that have been watching tonight father god thank all those you, that have been participating in this yes. um in this discussion tonight father god lord we just want to plead your yes. blood covering over each family represented tonight father yes. god and i want to thank you lord that your word says that your heart that the holy spirit leads us into all truth Jesus. so we want to lift up those in Tokelau that are under house arrest at the moment lord yes, we want to pray for your hedge protection around them lord Jeez. we ask that you just send your ministering angels to them lord yes, in jesus name we lift up 
the leaders in Tokelau, Lord. Mm. God, we want to pray that you just begin to give them dreams and visions, Lord, that you'd speak yes, to their wow. hearts, Lord, Jeez. because they are people that say they know you, Lord. So, Lord, I yes. pray that you begin to soften their hearts, Lord, for yes. your glory, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just give you yes, praise Lord. and glory, and we just want to pray that you just Hallelujah. continue to have your way mm. in Jesus' yes, mighty Lord. name. Bless, Amen. Bless, bless. Amen. 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 Okay, awesome. Well done. Well, thank you so much. For your, your, you'll finish us off there if you could. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to say thank you once again, Danny and Sarah. Uh, pastors, Danny and Sarah. Uh, thank you so much. You know, um, un unfortunately, I can see how you guys are straining to hear us. That's how far Australia is from where we're at <laughs> here in New Zealand. But, uh, yeah, we are very privileged to have you guys on tonight. And we just hope that... Uh, that people will be able to, to to receive what it is that you had to say tonight, and uh, mm. and I think I speak on behalf of myself and Elliot and our other co-host Leal, who's not here, uh, that we would welcome you guys back if if there's uh, some kind of update that you guys want to bring back with uh, to us. Awesome. So Indeed. thank All you right. once again, and God bless. Thank you. you. God bless. God bless everyone. God bless. God bless you. Bye bye.